Welcome, class, to today's rehearsal for A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Music by Malcolm McTavish, adapted for the puppet stage by Chantal Boscombe and Travis Trask. <laughs> class, I've made a decision. With only two months left to go until grad and everyone working so hard, we need more help. And so, Please welcome Mrs. Dalbeck. As many of you may know, Mrs. Dalbeck teaches private piano lessons. Once she tried to kill me with his big honking bass drum mallet. Malcolm, be quiet. Miss Rico is speaking. But what you may not know is Mrs. Dalbeck was once a very famous opera singer back in the old country. Just how old of a country are we talking about here? <laughs> so, in order to allow Malcolm enough time to finish the music, Mrs. Dalbach will be working with the choir and the orchestra. And if they don't practice, they know I will kill them. I make little joke. <laughs> Go, Helena. Why was I to the skin mockery bone? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You see this hand? When I hold it up, everybody stops. Mr. Malcolm? Yeah? Do you know what this is? Uh, yeah. What is? Uh, it's a bass drum mallet. Don't make me use. Um, did I do something wrong? You are kidding, right? No. It is Helena's song. We must have girl's voice. You are girl? Uh, no. Who wrote this song? I did. Then you know this. Why waste my time with stupidity? Travis, you are going to play Helena's part. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dahlbeck, um, I'm not a girl. Doesn't matter. You have nice voice. <laughs> Ready. Go. Why was I to this keen mockery born? When at your hands did I deserve this scorn? Why do I deserve this scorn? Teach me how you look, and with what art you sway the motion of Demetrius's heart. Enamored of thy note.
Welcome to McDavish residence. Hey, did you guys bring a note from your parents? We you didn't even what? Know. Just kidding. Just come on in. This is the best house party I've ever been to. When did you go to a cast party? Okay, so this is my first one. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you making out? With what? I'm dancing without crutches. Travis, I told you, the doctor said I could try it. I'm not walking across the stage at grad without my, with, with my crutches. I will drag myself across on my face if I have to. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry I brought it up. So, how come you never dance with me? No, and you never asked. Oh, wait, guess what, guess what? What? Sean Docker bought a car. What? Actually, his mom bought it for him, like a graduation present. A graduation mm -hmm. present? Since when is Sean Docker graduate? <laughs> I guess they had to pass and they failed him like 37 times already. Okay, where are you hearing all of this from? Malcolm. Uh, oh, oh, guess what else? What? Amber dumped Sean. No way or Yo, it's me. true, it's true. Um, yeah, Amber Sadlowski dumped the docker. Dumped him on his stupid face. <sighs> oh, if you ask me, you did it at just the right time. Thanks for letting me stay over. So, are you excited for the fashion show? I'm not going to the fashion show, I told you. Come on, Kitalina and I spent hours making that dress for you, it's beautiful. I know, I appreciate that, I'll wear it to grad, but I'm not going to the stupid fashion show. Travis, do you recognize that car over there? It's been following us since we turned the corner. Travis, run! Hey, Travis, wanna come for a ride? No thanks. And I could be like a present for taking my girlfriend away. I didn't take your girlfriend away. She's not your girlfriend, she never was. Shut up, freak! Don't you know there's a law? All freaks off the street by midnight. <laughs> Chantel? Chantel, is that you? Coming, Mom. Coming, Mom. Freaks! You guys are freaks! You guys are gonna pay for this! You hear? You're gonna pay! If Sean could get away with it, I think he'd actually kill me. Don't say that, Travis. Don't even think it. 